Hey guys, it's me, Simon. So I've picked up a next generation console. My PlayStation 4 blue lighted and that really hurted my brand loyalty in Sony. So I picked up a new next generation console, the Wii U. It's so good. You guys should all buy one. But not a lot of people share my admiration of the Wii U. And a lot of people have spread some pretty nasty myths about it. And I would like to bust these myths right here, right now. So keep watching. Now, before I begin, I know I think a lot of the confusion and all these myths have been spurred because people don't get the difference between the Wii, this one, and the Wii U, this one. So I'm, so I'm going to give you benefit of the doubt and teach you the difference. Wii, Wii U. Wii Wii U. Wii U. Wii U. Now, which one is this? Excellent! Now, which one is this? Very good! Gold stars for everyone! Do, 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 do! So, let's begin. Number five on our top five list of Wii U myths is that the Wii U has no good online community. Now, this is something I feel very strongly about, as it does. The Wii really didn't, but the Wii U hits it home. Like, for instance, we have Miiverse. Now, Miiverse is like Twitter, only for games. And you can draw and do all sorts of cool things. It's my favorite social network. Or should I call it an anti-social network? <laughs> hmm. And everyone on Miiverse is so nice and clever. Like, let me do a little bit of a comparison of Xbox Live to Miiverse. Oh, I'm homophobic and six, and I slept with your mom. Oh, you cheating hack and noobs! <laughs> oh, I had that problem too. I'm gonna yeah that post. And now, I'm going to draw a picture of Yoshi. Now, which community would you rather be in? Myth number four, the Wii U's graphics suck. Now, this is another case of confusing the Wii and the Wii U. The Wii didn't have good graphics. No way to get around that. It didn't, wasn't even HD. The Wii U was actually fairly powerful. More powerful than the 360 and PlayStation 3, at least. Not as powerful as current gen, but still pretty damn awesome. Like, look at the games, they're really pretty. 3D World, it's so bright and cheery. And Wind Waker, it's breathtaking. It needs to be seen to believe. Myth number three, the controller is uncomfortable. Now, these people are either lying or have never used a Wii gamepad. It's actually surprisingly comfortable. I know it looks big and bulky, but it's actually really not. For a slightly size, it's fairly light. And we all know I'm a pretty big guy. But it feels good in my hands. And if they feel good in these little guys, then how are they going to feel? Then who is, gonna, who is this going to be too big for? I'm, I'm actually curious. I feel like anyone could, really, could use this. And it has like little ridges on it to keep your hands fine. But I see where some of the complaints come from. It's very untraditional. Like, if you look at it next to the 360 controller, they look completely different. But there's a solution. Bam! In your face, haters! Look at these two. They look nearly identical. Problem solved. Number two. No games. The Wii U doesn't have any games, huh? You know what? You're right. We don't have any games. You know that game 3D World? Neither do I. It doesn't exist. Or what about Wind Waker HD? Yeah, I don't, I don't, I've never heard of it. I don't, I don't think Wind Waker was re-released ever. Or what about that game Lego City Undercover? Wait, what? What, what, what Lego City Undercover? That doesn't exist. Pikmin 3? No, ha, there are only two Pikmins. And what, what about to Mario Bros. U? whatever, it's only, they only have it on Wii, it's only Super Mario Brothers Wii, that, that, that Wii U doesn't exist, where, where are the games for, I don't see any games, huh, what, 
Oh, and there are no upcoming games either. I don't, I don't know what, what Nintendo's doing. Come on, Nintendo. We should make we should make some games that actually exist. And number one, the Wii U is a kitty console. Can't argue with that logic. Just those words, kitty console, to solve the entire problem. And look at the games. They're all for kids. Like Zombie U. Zombies are great, aren't they? They're like the Wiggles, only dead. And what about Assassin's Creed? Yes, stabbing! That's perfect for little Timmy's birthday party. And what about Call of Duty? That's a real hardcore game. Too bad we don't have it. Oh wait, we do. Seriously guys, the whole kitty console name has been around before the Wii U. First, it was the Super Nintendo. And Genesis was just saying, oh, we do what Nintendo don't. And our Mortal Kombat has blood. And then it was N64, where PlayStation was saying, oh, we're the hardcore game console. That's for children. And then it was everyone else. When every console came out, they was all hitting Nintendo with the word hardcore gamer and your kitty console. They're like bullies, bullying on the nerd who's good with children. Just because the games are fun and appropriate for kids doesn't mean they're kids' games. Legend of Zelda, have you played that? It's not only hard, but it's a great story. Stop being fun, Nintendo. Be nice to it. And I'm pretty sure most of you guys were raised on Nintendo. If you're older, you probably had every single console by then. And if you weren't, you probably have played at a friend's house. Everyone loved Nintendo. Smash Brothers, Mario Kart, those are coming. Just wait. Nintendo will always win. So, I'd like to say thanks for watching my top five list. Sun Kidel signing off. <laughs>